Hello and welcome to my latest RG350 video. So today we're going to be taking a third look at one of my, uh, well, what's fast becoming one of my favorite emulators and that's Final Burn Alpha. Now, uh, I have done already two parts of this and the RG350, uh, the one that I have, um, came with 287 ROMs for Final Burn Alpha pre-installed on the memory card which is fantastic um, and we're working our way through it so last time at the end of the second video we got as far as Ikari 3, Ikari Warriors 3, the rescue so onwards we go um, and we'll do like another half hour's worth of playing a few games at random and see how we get on so what have we got here Insector X let's give that one a try then shall we and, you know, we'll just try a few at random and we'll just see how we get on. Um, as we found in the past, a lot of these are either shooters, sideways or uh, vertical shooters, or we have um, beat-em-ups and sideways uh, beat-em-ups as well. So, you're never quite sure what you're going to get on these, but that's the joy. We're finding these out together. Um, so, no idea what this one is. This is in the the shooter category by the looks of it. Oh god, I'm dead already. That's no good. Let's turn the volume up a bit. Right. Insectors. I wonder what that line is. Look at that line going through the screen. I wonder if that's on the game or what. Certainly nothing wrong with the RG350. Yeah, just a sideways shooter by the looks of it, with like an in insect theme. A shame about that line, it does spoil it a little bit, doesn't it? See that little line going down through it? And I don't know if that's just, just the game, you know, the ROM, possibly. Still, we won't hold it against them. Yeah, it seems fairly straightforward, doesn't it? Nothing special. It is what it is, isn't it? Quite like the Egyptian sort of styling, that's all right. Oh, end of the level. There we are. Ah, well, we got through one. Better than nothing. Yeah, it looks like it's all like insects and ants and snails and stuff. Okay, fair dues. There we are. I think we'll play another one. So we got Jackie Chan, the Kung Fu Master, or Jackie Chan in Fists of Fire. Okay, we since there's two on here, I think we, we owe ourselves at least to play one of them. So this is Jackie Chan, Fists on Fire. Cool. Okay, Lau versus Thornston. Okay. Quite cool graphics, aren't they? Oh dear. About neck and neck. Uh oh. Oh dear. Not too bad. Quite good fun, isn't it? Graphics are good. Nice large sprites. got me again oh look at that that's ridiculous <laughs> yes 
No, we won't continue. Quite impressive, that one. So we'll give that one a, a thumbs up. Yeah, that was all right. Okay, so that's one of that. So we've got Jumping Pop. That looks like a, a 2D platformer of some sort. Karate Blazers. Carnal's Revenge. Ketsu Kitsi. I don't know what that is. Kingdom Grand Prix. Kenzuna Encounter. Super Tag Battle. Knights of Valor. And then Knights of Valor 2. Well, let's try Knights of Valor 2, shall we? See what this is all about. Okay, put some money in. This is quite cool, isn't it? Okay, so that's my guy in the middle there, taking on multiple foes. Never heard of this one. One more guy to get. Sort of set in ancient Japan by the looks of it, this one. He does like a bit of a, I don't know if he's like a samurai or something like that, but he's only sort of taking on peasants by the looks of it at the moment. No doubt these guys are going to get tougher as the game goes on. But it's not overly difficult. I'm getting a, taking a few hits, but it's not too bad, you know. Oh, there we are, end of the level. Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? Cool. Good stuff. Time to get on to the next one there. Let's get through, you know, it's just given us a taster. So that was Knights of Valor 2. Well, that's pretty cool, isn't it? We got Knights of the Round, Round what, Round Table? Knuckle Bash. Last Jewel. US new version. Okay, let's try that. Last jewel. Oh, this is a vertical. Okay, this looks something a bit different, isn't it? Listen to that sound. Stage one. Oh, I've got no fire. Surely I don't just have to... I haven't got a fire button. Oh, that wasn't a lot of good, was it? Let's try this again. The fire's up there. That's no good. I have to play it like this. That's a bit awkward, to say the least. I suppose it is playable, but not ideal. Dear, dear. Yeah, I don't know about this one. This is too hard for its own good. 
I don't think we like this. Too awkward to play. No, we'll give that one a miss. What was that called? Last Jewel. No. A bit fiddly, that one. Last Resort. Legendary Wings. Shall we try it? Okay, this is the last of the L's, so we'll try Legendary Wings. Oh, this is another one that's up that way. Vertical. Put my money in. See, this one's fine because the buttons are down here. Pretty fast and furious though, isn't it? You can't seem to get a full set. So I've not had any power-ups. Oh, that's quite difficult to see this on this size screen. Gone into the mouth. Oh wow. And now it becomes a sideways scrobbler. Look at this. Who'd have thought that? I am just useless, aren't I? Well, there we are. That was quite interesting, wasn't it? Legendary Wings, Magic Sword, Heroic Fantasy, Magical Cat Adventure, The Mind Boggles, what could this be about? The Magical Cat Adventure. Hmm. I suppose it's alright. I mean, nothing to write home about, but it's okay. A bit of Sonic here. Yeah, it feels a bit like Sonic in a funny sort of way. Hmm. Is that all the way back to the start? It is, oh dear. Oh, there we are. Forest. Magical cat adventure. I suppose it is what it is, really. We haven't had many 2D sort of platformer games, so it's good to actually uh, see a couple on here. Although I wouldn't say this is uh, that engaging. I suppose if you're a youngster or something, it might be a bit of fun. But there you are. There we are. Let's get on to the next one. Ooh, Marvel Superheroes. Marvel Superheroes versus Street Fighter. Marvel versus Capcom. Well, all of those could be cool. Why don't we do Marvel versus Street Fighter? Because I bet you that'll be cool. I bet you it's got a good intro as well, I reckon. I thought it would have a good intro. Let's put some money in. Okay. 
uh, the Spider-Man and the Hulk. Easy mode, speed, normal, stage one. Cool, here we go then. Back. She's a slippery customer. Unfortunately, she's chilling me. Oh dear. Does the Hulk come in now? Thank God. Oh dear. I just got beaten up by a girl. <laughs> Pretty good stuff though, eh? Lots of different characters. But... We haven't got time to keep playing the same game, so on with the next one. Good stuff there, that. Marvel Super Heroes Rush of Street Fighter. There's three Marvel games on this one. Mega Man. So we got Mega Man. Mega Man 2. Mega Twins. We've seen the Mega Man games before. What's this? Mega Twins. Cheeky, 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 I don't know. cheeky, cheeky boys. I think that's what it says. It looks sort of Japanese-ish. Hmm, Mega Twins. It is. That's a bit loud, isn't it? Okay. There's another little little platformer. Hmm. That's all right, I suppose. Better than that cat came. Blimey. like a bit of a boss level. Huh. Well, there we are. That was interesting, I suppose. But it doesn't warrant another go. Mega Twins. Mercs. Meta Fox. Metal Black. Let's try this. Metal Black. So, on my Facebook page, the Jules Brooks Collection and Unboxings Facebook page, someone sent me a screenshot of their RG360, and they had downloaded a particular Final Burn Alpha ROM set, which had just under 6,000 games on. 6,000 ROMs and they all use the Final Burn Alpha front end. So that's absolutely incredible. Imagine having 6,000 of these games in your hand. Just incredible. So what's all this about then? A shooter of some sort by the look of it. 
Round one down to our house. Oh yeah, blimey. Not so smooth this one. I don't know why. Yeah, it's a shooter, but it's not that smooth. Not that enjoyable. This doesn't play very well. Not like some of the ones that we've had, which have just been superb. This one's. The graphics are good and all, but it just doesn't play, it doesn't feel a lot of fun. And that's what it's all about. We're here for entertainment. And nothing else. Yeah, not, not sold on this one. In fact, we haven't had a really good shooter, really, have we, this episode? Now, Metal Slug. Well, look, we all know Metal Slug, and there's Metal Slug. Metal Slug 2, 3, 4, 5, and X. Well, why don't we play Metal Slug 5? I mean, they're all much of a muchness, as I'm sure you know. But that took a little bit of time. Let's put... Interesting that the action is taking place on a boat initially. Oh, it seems to be playing absolutely awesomely, doesn't it? you got to say. There we are, I got through the first little bit. Oh, I couldn't quite get in there in time.
just going to leg it through this bit. Oh, they got me. That is a lot of fun, but you know, we <laughs> can't play all the one game. So let's carry on. But that Mel Slug 5, that was brilliant. Really, really instant pick up and play fun, that one. Um, and there's you know, six Metal Slug games there. So this is Meta, Meta Mockster, Midnight Resistance. Mill. How about that one? Mobile Suit Gundam. Muscle Bomber. Nemo. Neo Drift. What's this? Neo Drift. Neo Drift. We've had a driving game, have we? So, practice stage, okay. Got to feel that 80s vibe. That is unusual. <laughs> Hmm, okay. Ready, I'm ready, yes. I'm out of time, guys. <laughs> Didn't quite make that stage. That was pretty good fun, wasn't it? Nah, no, we won't continue. Well, look, there we go. We'll call it a day there. Um, there's loads more games for us to go through. Absolutely loads. Um, I would say we're perhaps about halfway through all the final Burn Alpha games um, that are on here. We're on to, well, that was the Neo drift out but just look at what we've got and you know this is just flicking over a few all the way down here look this is oh there's so many great ones isn't there we've got loads more to go through so i reckon it's going to be at least another another couple of videos maybe even three down the line all right so um, i will try and release um, an rg350 video uh, every week um until uh we've we've worked our way through it until something better comes along um but yeah, there we are. So I hope you have enjoyed that video today. If you have enjoyed it, do please give it a thumbs up. Um, do consider subscribing for regular RG350 content. I absolutely love this handheld. If you want to buy the exact one that I've got, including all the ROMs, um, there is a link to Amazon UK where you can buy one down below. Um, I also link to the uh, rather snazzy hard case that I keep my RG350 in as well. And um, yeah, well, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye.